What's up, gang? It's your boy D. Brookson with another video. So, um, working on the Suburban tonight. Basically, uh, was working on getting the fuel lines in, running some wiring and stuff like that. Um, trying to get it done. Like I said, I want to be done before the first of the month, which would be August 1st. It's July 20. Let's see, it's the was it the 28th so I think we can probably still get there um, put a little um, distribution block right there for like you can jump the car or whatever I'm running that one over to the alternator actually I'm taking it all the way around to the alternator boom didn't want to run a wire like from here to there so yeah I didn't want to like have this wire hanging all the way from over here so I ran it behind the firewall boom it's the red wire to the terminal block and then here which you'll have plenty of places to get 12 volt positive because he has dual terminals boom and this so he'll have plenty of places for 12 volts positive um, as well as that one over there I'm gonna go ahead and like zip tie those are all existing wires we're gonna zip tie those up tighten them up and maybe get them loomed up I don't know yet but this is what it's looking like right now guys New fuel tank is in, um, new fuel tank straps. We went from a 40 gallon tank to a 30 gallon tank. Um, customer did not know that he bought a different size tank, but it's okay. Um, he's cool with it. So he went to a smaller tank, which is fine, I guess, for him. Um, got the Kimzo fuel pump in there. And uh, yeah, running AN fittings for the fuel lines. He already had this fuel filter on here with the regulator. We'll see how this works out. Um, I tried to plumb it as best as possible. I got the two coming in, the feed and the return on the back. I don't know if you guys can see that. I got the feed and return on the back back there. And then I basically put a 180 on the inlet on the fuel rail and then coming out of here. So hopefully it'll come out and not leak. I've had issues with these fuel pressure regulator slash filters leaking in the past, so we'll see how this works out. But um, yeah, we can always decide to go with like a, because um, he really already has a filter in line underneath the car. We can go with like a fuel pressure regulator and just set it back there and have it in um, a return and then have it come out. So. We may go that route, I don't know yet, we'll see. But yeah, this is just a quick update on the Suburban guys. I know you guys have been seeing glimpses of it. Um, I'm not really doing any how to's, but if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, I'm also running the Holly Terminator, so this is like the third or fourth one I've done. So we'll see how that goes. And he's also running, this is the first time I've done one of these Meacham Mechman uh, alternators. It's supposed to be like 400 amps or something crazy. So we'll see how that works. Um, he doesn't have anything that's going to use that load. So right now we don't have the big wire in. But if he needs to, he wanted to future proof that. So for like subwoofers or anything like that. So he'll upgrade the wire then. But... Yeah, guys, um, as you guys can see, I'm sweating. I've been in here working. It's midnight, basically. Um, not doing anything with the Regal right now until um, I'm done with the Suburban. So I haven't done anything about the, um, I don't know if you guys even know about it, but I had a brake line blow. You see a little wet spot down there. Had a brake line blow out on me. So got to replace those. Um, I already replaced the rear ones but i really need to replace all of them so but yeah guys uh make sure you guys tune in keep watching the videos like i said i'm gonna try to keep getting this content out to you guys and uh yeah man make sure y'all support the campaign also don't forget we got merch and the discord you can go to flaremotorsports.com slash shop for the merch and then you can go to our discord link which is in the description below and uh yeah connect if you got any questions or anything so make sure y'all tap in i'm gonna catch y'all later peace